For the third time in five years, one of the lakes on the Guadalupe River is draining due to the failure of its dam. Eyewitness News photo journalist Alan Coslew spoke with some of the residents along Lake Gonzalez about what losing the lake could mean to them. I see the river from both sides. River destroys, the river provides. Life along the Guadalupe River inspired retired teacher Jackie Sue Lanford to write River Song. There's a lot of spiritual food that I get from this river. It's not just the fish and the, you know, wildlife. The people are fed by this river, just the soul. The only issue is that her particular stretch of the river, up until a few days ago, was Lake Gonzalez. Sitting down here like we are right now is so peaceful. And it still is, but the lake is gone. Somebody stole my lake. John Coors owns one of the properties close to the Gonzales Lake Dam. He says the lake disappeared practically overnight. It keeps going lower. That island is getting even more visible, that little island in there. The trouble began Tuesday morning. The spill gates on the dam had been lowered to keep the lake from flooding. When the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority tried to raise them back up, one of the gates didn't respond. All the water's gone and there's just a, a lot of the ground and stuff has all begun to cave off and go down toward the bottom of the river. The GBRA opened the other gate up to try to get the water level low enough to see what needs to be repaired. It's a decision some of the residents are questioning. It's just heartbreaking when you've lived here and seen this, um, this most beautiful of Texas's gifts to man and um, you see how the GBRA has managed it. This is their track record. This is the third time a dam has failed on a Guadalupe Valley Lake in the past five years, starting with Lake Wood in 2016 and the collapse of the Lake Dunlop Dam in 2019. In a statement, the GBRA blames the failure of the dam on the aging spill gates that are over 90 years old, and they're still trying to figure out if they can even fix it. But in the meantime, CEO and general manager Kevin Pattison told us they would continue to work with the community to try to find funding options to make repairs or replace it altogether. Start living their river dream. And now I'm living my GBRA nightmare. Ellen Kazlu, Ken's 5, Eyewitness News. Now in May, on the two-year anniversary of the Dunlap Dam failure, construction started on the new Dunlap Dam, the funding coming from taxpayers and help from the GBRA. However, the GBRA says that this might be a challenge for property owners on Lake Gonzales because they don't have the tax base and development for such a project.